Sinclair and I recently completed the Thrive Programme with Anna, which I embarked upon to help tackle emetophobia. Um, that was a phobia that I've had as long as I can remember, at least since I was five and I've just turned 39. Um, and I did actually wonder whether my phobia was intense enough to get everything out of the course in the way that I'd seen so many people do on um, such incredible testimonials. Um, but it was a phobia that was um, very prevalent in my life. I'd, um, you know, I just didn't want it taking up brain space anymore or causing me any more stress. Um, so I had a consultation with Anna um, and realised that the Thrive programme could benefit me across the board. Um, so I did the general programme with a bit of an extra emphasis on the emetophobia. Um, it's been mind blowing to me um, and um, I could talk on and on and on about it as I do um, with uh, people. But um, I would say the thing that I found the most um, interesting and sort of helpful was uh, thinking of the, the section on thinking styles um, in thinking about my own application of black and white thinking and um, perfectionist thinking um, that's really helped me in day-to-day -day life um, not least with my relationship with food which was another thing that I wanted to address um, I also had a um, very big bereavement three years ago, a very sudden bereavement. Um, and knowing now that part of having a phobia is um, having a tendency for catastrophic and hypervigilant thinking, um, obviously losing somebody very suddenly um, just exacerbated that. And so I developed quite a bit of um, anxiety around health and the health of people around me and what can suddenly happen. Um, and that's really massively been helped by this programme. And I think particularly timely um, going through it in the age of a global pandemic. Um, so ugh, I'm so grateful that I, am, I don't have those preoccupations anymore. Um, in terms of my phobia, um, at school, I'm a teacher. The first lesson that I've always done for the last 10 years with new students has been involved me talking about my phobia and how I can't cope with people being sick. Um, and I've not done that at all this year. Um, it's the first time ever. <laughs> um, I've even actually gone to the medical room to check up on a student who's not been feeling very well, knowing full well that there could be somebody being sick in there. And I would never have gone anywhere near before. Um, so I just, I mean, I, I don't think I can even talk enough about how much this programme has benefited me and I know will continue to benefit me. Um, and I can't thank Anna enough for everything she did and everything she enabled me to do. Um, and the programme, you know, it's just, yeah, absolutely fantastic. And um, I would encourage everybody to do it as I have done quite often in my real life. <laughs>